Hey guys, this is Zircon, and today I'm going to show you how to use Paul's Extreme Sound Stretcher. You might know this program uh, from the recent forum posts and slash dot topics about Justin Bieber slowed down 800%, and this is the program that did it. So it's free, it's Windows only, and it's very powerful. Now, I picked out some source material already, and I'm going to start with the chorus vocals sung by my wife Jill for the song Breathing You In. I'll load these up here. And now I can't actually preview from the program and have it play through the video capture, so I'm going to preview this in FL instead. Breathing you in, I feel. Okay, so you know, pretty simple, just dry vocals up front. And what I'm going to do is stretch them, let's say, you know, 11 or 12 times over. So this is uh, basically over a thousand percent slowed down. Now these options here are actually pretty self-explanatory. The pitch shift, for example, uh, changes the pitch of the sound. And uh, what we can do is maybe go up 300 cents. So that's three steps. Frequency shift is uh, changing the tonality of the sound, the format. Uh, the octave mixer allows you to mix in, uh, for example, a pitch one octave below, two octaves below with the original signal. You can filter it, um, you know, low pass and high pass. And then harmonics isolates a particular frequency in the sound. So let's say you just had pure noise. If you select 440 hertz, that's going to isolate just that one frequency from the noise and the bandwidth is how many surrounding frequencies it gets. So this is actually pretty neat because it turns noise or a breath sound into something like this. So all you do there is you just load a breath or a noise, put the harmonics on, select the frequency, and then increase the bandwidth. Anyway, back to breathing you in. I'm gonna render this selection as BYI stretch. Okay, and the render's all done. So now if I go to FL, refresh the browser, pull this into the project, and normalize it. You'll see that it's been stretched to over uh, eight minutes long from a 45 second recording. So you can see how this is extremely powerful for sound design. You can do this with any kind of material. It doesn't even need to be tonal. It can be just percussion, for example, and you can create some very cool textures just from, you know, wood hits. In this case, you could use this as a pad or an intro for a song, for example. You could put reverb on it. You could reverse it and get some interesting stuff from that. And all of the nuances are still there, and there aren't any artifacts. It just sounds like it's been naturally stretched, or rather unnaturally stretched, but in a very pleasant way. So another example would be instrumental material, not even necessarily a full song. I'm going to give you an example of this that I actually used in one of my tracks recently, which has not been released. So I have a sample of Sixto, my guitarist, playing a short pattern. And that's amped up, that's an electric guitar. And I'm going to stretch that about 46 times. Now this was initially recorded for a dance track of mine called System, which is released. And I figured I'd reuse some of the material. So I'll render that. Okay, and that render is now done. Now let's listen to the original one more time. And now, Check this out. Now I thought that texture was so inspiring that I actually created an entire song built around just that. But basically I just wanted to show you a small taste of the types of things you can do with this amazing program. Once again, it's called Paul's Extreme Sound Stretch or Stretcher, and it's Windows only. It can load a uh, WAV or A files. Um, in terms of some of the other features here, honestly, just mess around. Um, changing the window size, the type, 
um, that's going to just give you different sort of tones with the sound. You can also change the stretching rate depending on where you are in the song, for example. Uh, and if you're not using video capture software, you can preview from different points in the song. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and uh, I hope you enjoy the song which I'm about to play. It's called Scars of the Past, and it's going to be on an upcoming album. Later. Oh. Uh-huh.